Hi guys, okay, this is actually Gina. So which Green Party are you from again? Uh, North Lancashire Green Party. I was a Lancaster City Councillor for a while. I'm now on Lancashire County Council. Okay. So I'm the only Green on Lancashire County Council. But uh, as you know, we voted against fracking in Lancashire yeah. at every level of councils affected. And our decision was overturned. So I think it was just amazing that people decided to come to London to show MPs on their doorstep that we're really serious about this. And the fact that we've got um, a growing movement, so it's, you know, the whole of the country is being affected by fracking. If not now, they'll be rocking up soon because to be viable, this industry has got to drill thousands of wells. Mm -hmm. And the massive resistance they're getting to their first wells, I think, demonstrates that... uh, we're not going to be going away. In fact, there's more people just waiting to join this movement when they realise the devastation it's going to cause. Okay, I mean, I mean, I have been reading say about Lancashire, the like the farmland would actually become useless uh, afterwards. It's going to be worthless if they do actually do uh, fracking the air because of the yeah. uh, all the radiation coming out of the ground. Exactly. I mean, it's the, the people talk about waste water, but you know, we're talking toxic fluid that comes back up. We don't exactly know what's in it. We know what goes down there, and then it comes back even worse because it's still covered by sea. Uh, some sort of corporate yeah, uh, covered, secrets. yeah. I mean the companies ca- um, claim whatever it is you know they're sort of uh, trade secret. secrets <laughs> and that kind of thing and so we don't actually know the level of the toxins and the level of pollution what we do know from other countries is that it's pretty horrific and it can it's definitely a huge risk to water supply once it's in the water what do we do with it and you know they've, they've at the beginning they didn't even know that they were going to be able to reprocess it we're being told at the moment that they've now found somewhere out of Lancashire where they'll transport the waste to decontaminate it can you decontaminate water no so they're saying decontaminate radioactive water Water. yeah yeah it's the nonsense and that's just the radioactive there's loads of chemicals going to be in that water so the fact is we've got that that water's going to be transported there's a whole stuff to deal with there but just the amount of water that is used in the fracking process is massive in itself because up in the northwest we had threats of drought this um this summer and, you know, <laughs> okay northwest water were threatening to start uh, giving us hose pipe bans etc that you know with just a few weeks of hot weather um and uh, the fracking companies can and still the use fracking as fracking companies are going to be using that water. They've got um, Quadrilla, who are the company concerned in Lancashire, have got a contract with Northwest, Northwest Water to supply them. So that puts even our, you know, our absolute, you know, daily lives at risk yeah. if our water is under threat. Yeah, and they don't seem to realise because it's, a, it's a, well, the UK is a, it's a wet country basically but then we do actually end up with uh, with droughts as well it's, it's crazy yeah. anyway thank you so much this is uh, Gina really nice to meet you. From I'm Gina Dowding from Lancaster and it's really lovely that London and the Greens from all over the country have been here today and then there's been lots of people that have come from all over the country and then we've had other visitors that just happen to be passing by who are in some Australians were here some Argentinians were here who have all just heard that we're here today and have come to join us because they've got problems in their own countries okay thank you so much thank so you. Gina Lancaster Green Party. Okay, peace out, guys.